Gamer Fuel. Fuck. I don't have Gamer Fuel. <laughs> Well, session cancer, no gamer fuel. Hello? No, no, I can get gamer fuel. This is the benefit of having a laptop. Yes, can you yeah. hear me? <laughs> well, whatever this, what? Oh. <laughs> That's gamer fuel. So, Wait, you can't sip rice. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, you can. Have you not sponsored. Uh, heard of or chat up? I'm joking, I don't have any. Uh, I did forget about rice pudding, to be fair. Alright. <laughs> so. I literally just have rice. So? Let's get into it. So, with our keeper of lore still missing or coming in later, I did overfill. We need the, a recap. Leveled, like, cups, so. Oh wait, I'm about to retire soon. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> that, that's wild. Um. Let's speak, my mammoth friend. <laughs> I'm still yep, a member, yep, so. yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Did you expect That's anything right. else? Nope. I, I have game of fuel now. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure the last thing we did was literally fight in the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. we haven't done any, anything since, right? Nope. Well, the, the, you know, you, 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 oh, let, me, let me dust off these notes. You, you did start in the, in the manor, the Mercurius Mansion, where you were meeting the Cleric of the Vaughn. Oh, wow. That was the session before that, right? No, yeah. we ended the session Some with you meeting the Cleric of the Vaughn. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we started the session with actually talking with the Cleric. Okay. Well, I seem to recall him telling us about the graveyard problem. Yeah, his name's Ro his name his name's Roger, right? Yeah. 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 So we had a meeting with Roger. Um, he then informed us effectively about what was going on within the cemetery. Um, and seeing as we were going to leave Kel shortly. We decided that it was probably best for us to deal with that present situation. So, whilst um, it was getting towards night time before we were supposed to rendezvous with Roger, we will take some doubt, some downtime, um, where we all seem to all come to the same realization that we're at a bit of an impasse and that we don't actually know which or where we should be going um, and whether or not we can actually stop the cult. We all sort of sit down to think about the cult's goals and how the hell they could achieve summoning, sum, summoning something so terrible. Like, what even is the point of the coming of Asmodeus? Um, during the day, then, Adris has a meeting with some of the members of the council. Um, where one of the concerns brought up is the fact that a wyvern has been spotted off in a distance, um, and we all sort of look at each other and think to ourselves, ah, oh, it's probably the one that Dorothy. Besides that, the main, the other main issue was around the fortification of defenses. We then have, a, we then strike up a conversation with Esper and Sylvia upon the leaving of the other council members, um, where they give me a piece of information about the Knights of Sundabar. Um, they remember a light. And then I remember that Lightbringer was a part of a quest related to the Knights of Sundarbar. Esper and Sylvia mentioned that they were coming from the far north, um, from a dangerous adventure near Ten Towns in Icewind Dell, and that they spent a long time there recovering. However, they also let me know specifically that they spent a long time recovering in the home of a speaker named Bryn Sundar. A disgraced paladin exiled from his order, a holy order of some lot. With this sort of information, Finn begins to ponder and thinks, uh, maybe he has some unfinished business that he needs to begin tending to with Light River. We then proceed to meet up with Roderick outside of the cemetery. I take the lead um, and I look around and I notice that there's been some activity but nothing extremely disrespectful, nothing that's really desecrated. The remains of the dead. 
We then proceed to head towards the Ashglade Mausoleum, where Emma begins to work on unlocking it, and notices that there's a faint light coming from the keyhole, which should have been her. After that, a battle then breaks out with the undead in the cemetery, where um, Finn almost died many, many times, but was saved, as well as Emma, by the tactfulness and wit of their companion Adrift, for turning them into malice. And that's where we ended off. Uh, also, here I had the, I remember doing this, and I don't know why. I remember taking notes about that order of nights, but I can't find them. So, do you do you like have a rough idea of what session it was? Oh, I went live without that number. <laughs> oh, uh, this is session one hundred. Uh, no, this is session ninety-nine. Wait, what? Make up your minds. The internet begs you. Session oh, 98 was you uh, arriving at Kelp, meeting Doran, catching up, meeting Moldy, meeting a cleric. Now, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, this is, yeah, you're correct. So, this is uh, okay. session 100. The previous was session 99, sorry. Yeah, it's, session it's 100, good. guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yo, we like tumbled, yeah. but yeah, do you remember the session where we spoke about the knights? It was like that time when we got chased by like those, it was like the giants, right? Or the orcs. And those <laughs> oh, Sorry, what, what is your question, Gunny? I'm asking, do you know like approximately what session it was when we met, when we met the lich and the